Hi, I'm Lorena and I wanted to do a tutorial on the extended pinwheel. Ah. So here's the extended pinwheel block and my kids are arguing in the back of course. But what I wanted to do, what's different about this uh, block is we're adding rectangles into the block. I hope you like the tutorial. I hope that it's a different way of uh, doing a different variation of the pinwheel and I hope you like it. Have a great day guys. So here I have my, this is called, or I call it, the extended pinwheel. Uh, I want to talk about some things. You're going to need eight half square triangles. And so I'm going to use this paper. Um, I believe this is a three inch roll of half square triangles. And these end up being, I hope you can get, see it. These, when they're done, they end up being three and a half. And I have a dark and a lighter fabric. I'm going to face them like that. And I'm going to go ahead and lay this down. And I'm going to pin this. I'm going to sew where the dash lines are. Let me go forward if you can see it. Where the dash lines are and cut where the straight, um, straight dark line is. And that's what's going to make our half square triangles. Now from here... We're going to also cut um, pieces. We're going to need four rectangles. It's a three and a half. So it's one, two, three. And I'm going to need four of them. So here it's straight. Let me go back a little bit. Three and a half by six and a half. Half. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, four, six. And I'm going to need four of those, four of these. And so we're going to just keep on cutting and keep going. I already pinned my paper foundation on there. And I have my chocolate and my green. And now I'm going to go to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew on the dash lines. And so let's go. So here I am on my sewing machine. I'm going to start sewing on the dash lines. Now it doesn't matter how you go. You can go in any direction that you want tend to go straight cut or just pull your thread roll over keep on and try to stay as straight as you can okay so here I am with everything sewn I recommend you take them your pins all out you don't need them anymore at this current moment start heating up your iron now every area that you have a dark line Put your ruler right on top of it and trim off. Rotate. Trim it off. Now here's my line. I'm going to cut there. I also did a tutorial on um, easy fast half square triangles. And once you do this, you don't have to remeasure to make sure that your half square triangles are uh, the size that they say they are. I'm going to roll this over and I'm going to start tearing. And just tear all this off. So here I am and I have all my half square triangles and I'm going to start pressing with my iron. I tore all the paper off and just pull and fold over. So here I made the pinwheel and I want to extend it and so I'm adding a piece here. I'm adding a piece here. I'm adding the next piece and the fourth piece. So I needed eight half square triangles and then I need four rectangles. 
So here's my rectangles. These are six and a half by, I believe they're three and a half. And so here's this piece. And I want it on the opposite. Let me go see if I could pull the camera back a little bit. And I'm going to do here. And I'm going to add it here. I recommend you start piecing all these pieces first. And so we're we'll go and do that next. So here we are. I'm going to roll this over. And I'm going to pin. And I'm going to roll each piece over. And remember, where I pin, where I have that sharp space, is where I sew. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. Um, you can clean your, make sure you have it together when you're done sewing it. So now we're going to the sewing machine and we're going to sew all these four pieces together. And here's where I have my sew, where I'm telling myself I need to sew. And I'm going to go here, give it a little stitches. Go on again, make sure my line is straight here and then I'm doing a straight consistent fourth. So here I have my piece and I'm going to open it, press towards one direction, and then I'm going to iron it and iron all four of your pieces. All right. So now I have them ironed. Here I have my pieces together. When I first set up, I haven't moved anything other than the pieces and I'm going to go ahead and set it up again. So here's this piece here. Um, I believe this goes this way. And this goes this way, and this goes this way. Now, after you have it put together again, now we're going to fold it over and pin in the direction we're sewing. Fold it over, pin in the direction we're sewing. Two more pins. Fold this over, we're sewing on this end, so we're pinning the sharp end. is telling us this is where you go. And so here's my next piece, pull the pin out, make sure everything is straight, put it under my machine, and I'm going to iron, make sure it's a nice clean seam there. So there's one piece, and there's the other, and then there's this piece here, and there's this piece. There's a seam here. We want to make sure that we connect that seam and have a perfect connected seam. So I'm going to rub it here. I'm going to pin it. And remember, I'm far away from my pin. And I'm going to roll over to make sure that as I fold this over, it's a straight seam across. So this is straight. Put it on my machine. And start straight stitching. Make sure the fabric stays straight as I feed it through the machine and it makes a continuous fourth. And then here's, um, do you see how this is kind of wonky? You can fold it over and you can use your machine or your iron to press it through. And now we're gonna go back and build the block. So I already just ironed everything and now I'm gonna build the block. Here we are. Now, there's a couple intersections you have to think about. We have to make an intersection here, here, and here. And so we're going to roll it over. And you're going to need your three pins. Um, now we're going to look at the center seam. If you look here, in this space right here, there's a fourth right here. And there's also a fourth here. You want to make sure the top of this space is right on top of this space. And so I'm going to get a pin And you can literally put your pin through the top of this triangle, right there, and feed it through this top of that triangle, and then have the fabric sit on itself. And as you have it locked, pinned through, then um, go ahead and pin it with your pin on the thread line right there. So here is this seam right here, the center area, and this seam right here, and I want to make sure 
that I, on my sewing machine, go right on top of that so I don't lose the pin. Keep on going. I already pinned everything. Make sure that my fabric is straight. Straight all through. This is nice and clean and pressed and all the seams are straight. So you don't have any rippling in the front. Roll this over. So this is the perfect pinwheel area. And I hope you like this block the extended pinwheel. Have a great day. I hope you like this tutorial.